ionic bond in calcium oxide. The first thing that you should know is the electronic configuration of calcium and oxygen. So let's write down the electronic configuration of calcium and oxygen. So calcium Ca and atomic number is 20. So if we write down the electronic configuration 2, 8, 8, 2. So we see that it has four shells in it. Then oxygen, oxygen atomic number is 8. So 2 and 6. Now if you look at the electronic configuration, you will see calcium has two electrons in the outermost shell whereas oxygen has six electrons in the outermost or valence shell. Now calcium can achieve inert gas configuration by donating two electrons whereas oxygen can achieve electronic gas configuration that means eight electrons in the last shell by receiving two electrons. So let's see how the ionic bond takes place in calcium oxide. So Ca then we can make two crosses to show the electrons of calcium. When we are talking about bonding we have to focus ourselves to the outermost valence shell. So calcium has two electrons in its outermost shell whereas if we look at oxygen oxygen has six so we could make dots for oxygen that's four and then five and six now we can show the transfer of electrons by making arrows so these two electrons will go to oxygen now we can proceed with the next step we make a square bracket in the square bracket we put calcium close the square bracket and write 2 plus here why 2 plus because calcium has given two electrons and now its electronic configuration becomes 2 8 8 because it has given its two electrons to oxygen put a plus sign here now again make a square bracket and put put oxygen inside and then close the square bracket and 2 minus why do we put 2 minus that means oxygen has taken two electrons now its electronic configuration will become 2 and 8 and hence we have CaO this is an ionic compound now there is another method to show ionic bond in calcium oxide. For that we can make round circles to show the atom of calcium and oxygen. So let's do that and understand how we are doing it. So let's make a circle first. Now this circle inside the circle we can put in calcium. And how many electrons does calcium has in its valence shell? Two. So we can use, we can make two cross over there. Then we can make two more circles showing, not two more circles, one circle showing oxygen, atom of oxygen. So let's draw the atom of oxygen. Let's draw it nicely so this is the atom of oxygen so oxygen in the center let's rub this yeah so we can put oxygen and how many electron does it has six so let's put dots one two three four five six and then we can show by arrow the transfer of electrons so there we can show that. Now we go to the next step, make a square bracket, write CA inside, close the bracket and write 2 plus. Now we again make a big bracket and we have to draw oxygen 
and then we can put a square bracket and then oxygen how many electron does it has one two three four five six and two other electrons that is coming from calcium and because it has taken two electrons so we can put two minus so this is CaO that is calcium oxide I hope you have understood this ionic bond in aluminium oxide now let us do its first step that is find out the electronic configuration of aluminium and oxygen so aluminium al how many electron does it have it has 13 electrons so electronic configuration 2 8 and 3 so valence electron is 3 that is electron is in its outermost shell is 3 then oxygen oxygen has atomic number of oxygen is 8 so 2 and 6 now if you look at the electronic configuration valence electron of aluminium 3 and oxygen is 6 so oxygen needs 2 electrons to complete its shell whereas aluminium has 3 extra electrons so let us see how they form ionic bond remember ionic bond is an electrostatic attraction between two ions and also there is transfer of electrons so let's write the show the diagram how it takes place so let's first write aluminium how many electron does aluminium has three in the valence shell so let's put that down one two three now let's use let's draw oxygen oxygen has how many electrons six so one two three four five six so if aluminium gives it two electrons so oxygen gets complete eight electrons but we see that aluminium has one electron left so we can draw another oxygen let's draw a better diagram this doesn't look yeah draw another oxygen how many electron does it has six so one two three four five six so this aluminium gives its one electron now still we see that has one more electron less so what we can do is we put in another aluminium and one two three electrons now aluminium gives its one electron now this oxygen also has completed its octet by having eight electrons now but aluminium we see that it has still two electrons extra so let's draw oxygen so one two three four five six and then two electrons coming now they fulfill all the condition aluminium shares uh, sorry aluminium transfers two electrons to each oxygen and each oxygen is receiving two electrons completing its octet and let's move on further now we can put a square bracket square bracket we can put a two year in front showing us two aluminium and then we can put oxygen inside uh, not oxygen sorry we can put aluminium inside and let's enclose aluminium inside a square bracket and here we put three plus why three plus because it is giving three electrons now its electronic configuration becomes two eight because it has transferred three electrons to oxygen now put a plus here again a square bracket how many oxygens were there three so we can put a three over here and put oxygen here and close the bracket and put two minus here why we're putting two minus here because each oxygen is receiving two electrons now its electronic configuration will be two and eight so finally we have 
a l 2 o 3 so this is one method of showing the ionic bond taking place in aluminium oxide i'll show you another method that we can do to show ionic bond in aluminium oxide so for that let's show the circles showing the atoms of aluminium and oxygen so first of all aluminium let's make the circle how many aluminiums are there there are two aluminiums so we can make two circles so see that the circles are almost equal so let's draw the circles almost equal so they're almost equal and then we can write down aluminium inside the circle al al how many electron does each aluminium has three valence electron extra when we're talking about bonding we have to only talk about the outermost valence shell so one two three so there we have aluminium showing three electrons in this valence shell now oxygen how many oxygens we have three oxygen so we can make circles how many circles three circles so let's do that so there are three circles over here you can put oxygen uh, you can write down the symbol of oxygen o and then show the electrons of oxygen one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six now you can show with the arrow how transfer of electron takes place from aluminium to oxygen so you can show like this one and two now this first oxygen has completed its octet so from the first aluminium it goes to the second oxygen so now seven and now this it gets eight now the third oxygen gets two more and th therefore each one of them have eight 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 electrons and aluminium is left with two and eight electron it has already transferred three electrons to uh, each uh, three electrons to uh, oxygen that means two aluminium will transfer three electrons three electrons six electrons together that means to three oxygen so each one gets two electrons now we can move on to the next step you can make an arrow and write two make a square bracket square bracket al why did we write two because they're two aluminium enclose it in the square bracket and here we can put three plus three plus telling us that each aluminium has transferred three electrons or given three electron plus and then here we can show with a square bracket uh, what we can show we can show oxygen so let's draw oxygen so this is oxygen number one how many electrons do we show for oxygen six it has so one two three four five six and it is receiving two from aluminium so we can put two crosses over here and here we can put two minus then we make another oxygen and then enclose it into a square bracket and we can write two minus here and we can put oxygen in the center and with one two three four five six and two crosses that it receives from the aluminium two electrons and finally we can draw the third oxygen and then we can show the electrons one two three four five six and cross electrons with the cross that means they have received it from aluminium and two minus here so this is how we can do the second show the second method so let's not mix it up we know that one method is from 
the first process and this is the second process finally the formula will be a l 2 o 3 i hope this is clear to you